I'm Arman, I'm a six-figure day trader, also managing several figures in funded capital. Before we get into that, let me tell you guys how I went from minus 1.5k in the bank to over 100k at the age of 19. So if we rewind a bit, back when I was 16 years old, that's when I started to find ways of making money online. That's when it mainly hit me personally that money is really important. Bear in mind, my parents are from India. They moved to Italy first before they had me. The main sole purpose of that was so their kids can have a better future. My dad worked day and night in a farm. And then six years ago, my parents chose to move to the UK only for their kids sake so that we can have better opportunity here. So all these things were definitely a motivational factor for me moving forward at 16 is when this mainly hit me and i started looking at different ways to make money i started looking at crypto first and that didn't really go too well i ended up investing in some uh, random coins trying to like hope they would 100 to 1000 x but obviously that's not how it works right you can't make money fast easy money is not good money once i was done with crypto in about six months i took a break from the whole entrepreneurship journey and started going more into the self-development journey i was kind of skinny fat at the time and i was like okay i need to get abs get shredded and literally six months later i made a whole complete body transformation and i did pretty much a whole detox for my whole mind my whole perspective about life and everything around it changed it was a whole mindset shift after that i was like okay now i'm ready to tackle the money aspect of life again that's when i started looking into different ways of making money once again this time i looked at drop shipping so this time i was about 17 years old and like six months i started looking at drop shipping and i did it for a few months and i ended up losing about 700 dollars from it and from drop shipping i learned the importance of consistency in every business a business is supposed to be consistently providing cash flow you can't expect to have shitty cash flow like one day you make 100 dollars, the next day you make 200 but then a net loss over like a month right that's bad that's not how business is supposed to be like you can sure aim for small profit targets but make sure that i'm consistently making some money right that was my main priority so then i was like okay maybe the drop shipping space is highly oversaturated that was my analysis of the space so that's when i decided to go into amazon fba i started looking into amazon fba opened my stores and started sending them to the amazon warehouse but overall this business was also a fail by this time i was already 18 years old and had lost about about two thousand dollars in total and bear in mind i did not earn that money that money was given to me by the government as maintenance loan for university the government gives this to low income household students so that they can spend it on buying maybe a laptop books transportation cost to university right and i ended up blowing that pretty much a big portion of it until next year now okay so now if we fast forward a bit that's when I was like, okay, the markets are the best place to make money. You have trillions of dollars in front of your screen every single day and you need to just successfully make a very tiny percentage of it, like such a small percentage and you can be comfortably living. That's all you need to do. So that was the problem. Outline the problem and my goal was not to solve that problem. I spent the next six months consistently on the charts trying to solve that problem. For the first six months, I saw no progress. It was actually quite demotivating because every trade I would pretty much place, even as a test or as a demo account, it was like the trade was going against me. It was like the markets know what I'm trying to do and they would just reverse me. It was super annoying. I thought the markets are rigged and I took a three month break as well as during those three months of focusing on my exams. I then want to feel my education as well at the same time, right? Then after the exams, I was like, okay, let me go back into it. That's the time around when I came across a FTMO ad on Instagram. I was like, okay, that's interesting. That takes away a big part of what makes trading hard as a normal person trying to find a personal account, for example. So I was like, okay, let me add this variable now to the problem and solve the problem now. Now the problem wasn't make 200% a month. Now the problem was make 1% to 2% a month consistently for years. And that's literally what I did. I spent tens of hours every single day for the next three months until I found my edge, refined my strategy and came up with a concise system and a plan that I could execute on the charts. At that time, I was 
like, okay, I'm ready for a challenge. I just hate half-assing anything. I was like, I'm not gonna do a 50k challenge or a 100k challenge. What's the biggest challenge these websites allow? I found my Forex funds. I was like, 300k challenge. Okay, let me do this. I did a 300k challenge. And obviously, as you may have expected, I feel that it's very hard to pass your first ever challenge. I filled my first challenge and I was like, I even recorded a video of me failing my first challenge. My bank account hit zero. I had no balance because I bought a 300k account. I was like, okay, I'm going to make this into a do or die situation. What I did is I literally went overdraft, which is pretty much borrowing money from the bank. The limit, which is 1.5k here for my bank. I borrowed money, bought another challenge. 300k now the situation was do or die as you can see in the video i'm showing minus 1.5k balance as well as my failed challenge for my forex funds so after that i ended up actually thank god passing that challenge and this was a tft 300k challenge i made about a 15k payout on this challenge and from there it pretty much uh, spiraled in into new challenges i was taking a payout taking a refund then buying a new challenge it was pretty much an upward spiral i went into so right now i have been consistently profitable for over one year at the age of 20 i turned 20 a few weeks ago i've blown zero funded accounts in my entire platform career and that's a big achievement that i always like to highlight that i trade professionally i'm not here trying to gamble or find a mathematical edge in the system of pro firms right and trying to just fail 100 challenges and pass 50 and make some payout break even right that's nonsense that's not what i do i trade professionally i've not blown any funded accounts the same way i will not blow a personal account and I failed one challenge and that was purely because of my mistake and I learned from that. The importance is you learn from your mistakes and you don't repeat the same mistake over and over. That's what I see a lot of people do. They fail challenge, they repeat the same mistake again and again. They keep failing every single challenge until maybe they get lucky and they pass one, right? And make a payout. That's a big pattern I realized in the industry right now. So I will use this YouTube channel as pretty much a journal. I will document my whole journey from the age of 20 now to maybe the age of 30 to how I will become a multi-millionaire in my life and how I will go from maybe now seven figures of um, assets under management to maybe eight, nine figures in the future. And hopefully by documenting my whole journey and providing value throughout the whole process, I can help you guys out. Thank you guys.